now that you've organized your day, you've organized the chores, you know how things are going to work, you need currency. So we're going to establish a bank. So we're not going to use rands, we're not going to use real money. You need to look around in your home. What is there a lot of? Maybe it's sugar beans. Maybe it is, you can create paper money using paper, but you're going to use a lot of paper in 21 days. So look around, be creative, be innovative. Maybe you've got a load of shot glasses. I don't know what you have, but look around in your home and identify something, not Lego blocks, because the children need that to build with, but find some kind of a currency and then write a value next to each of the chores. I suggest you really do this. Put a monetary value to every chore because children and adults are going to earn money, your currency, to be able to pay for treats, sweets, whatever um, treats you've got, TV time, and maybe to pay another member of the family to do their chores. So you need to establish a currency. And if you use sugar beans, for example, if you use sugar beans, use 10 sugar beans for a hundred rand. And I suggest you use only hundreds. Every chore is at least a hundred rand. It gives children the opportunity to count to 10. It's going to do wonders for their mathematic ability as well. But create your currency and then allocate your um, a value to each chore and then a value to TV time, obviously per half an hour, or you need to look at the length of programs. So if somebody's going to watch our program, they need to pay more than somebody that's only, whose program is only a half an hour long. So be creative, C create your currency, determine who's going to be the bank, who's the responsible person that's going to take care of this, and then implement your currency so there is constant negotiation constant counting and counting is reading it's, it's mathematical reading we are going to have an amazing adventure in the next 21 days